Today we're going to Paris. We're going to make croissant chocolate chip bread pudding. This is decadent. It's awesome. And it's super easy actually, much to my surprise. So what do we got going on here? I bought two cartons, two of these packages of croissants. And I cut them open and let them dry for a couple hours because that'll really help soak everything up in a minute. So half of them I put on the bottom. And the good thing about sawing them in half, you don't have to tear them up much. So. I just put them in there and then all the little holes that were left behind I patched up with pieces. I have six eggs, a heaping cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. Then in here, it's just a pinch of salt, a few shakes of cinnamon, and a few shakes of nutmeg. Four cups of milk, two cups of milk, two cups, half and half. Let me see how quick this goes together. Go to my eggs. I'm going to add my sugar, and I'm going to beat it like it owes me money. Get in there. I'm going to beat everybody else. I'm just going to mix this up good. Plus, this way you can tell. I'm doing this with just the eggs and sugar. That way you can tell if there's any left for brown sugar. You know how that stuff likes to be irritating and aggravating. Here we go. And you see there's a couple in there. I'm going to beat them up. Like I said, it's two cups whole milk, two cups half and half. And when this is mixed up, it's gonna make a custard. Then I'm gonna add my few little spices. Forgot one major important thing. Vanilla. Vanilla, as some say. Where is my good stuff? Nope. Please tell me. Yes. All right, fine. I can't find my good vanilla. So, I'll use this vanilla. You're going to use a tablespoon. That's important. I can't believe I almost left that out. And I'm going to stir this together. And it's going to make a custard. Already smells good. Because of the vanilla. Vanilla. We. Oui. There's some French for you. Now, I'm going to take these and I'm going to sprinkle them all over the croissants. These are just Nestle Toll House. As Toll House. As they say. Alright. I got that mixed up good. And I'm just going to pour this all over. Those chocolate chips are going to fall down. They're going to get all meltified and good. And you're like, uh oh. Slow down, I say. Your bread's floating. That's because. Oops. We have a whole. Another layer. So we gotta put these on now. Just gonna put these down, make a top. No rhyme or reason. Let's get them on there. So everything's good and covered. Got some extras, so I'm just gonna tear them up and put them wherever I see little holes. Now you're gonna take a spatula and you're gonna shove them down in there so that the top can also soak up the custard. Then, after I get these good and submerged, I'm going to let it sit for about 30 minutes right here on the counter just to give the custard time to soak up into these buttery, 
flaky French croissants or croissant. <laughs> then the final step after this is all been sucked up into that lovely croissant batter, I'm going to take two tablespoons of melted butter and I'm going to drizzle it on the top for richness. All right. And then I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 and I'm going to bake it for one hour. Don't forget to drizzle the butter on top. Makes a difference. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. You're going to want to make this. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, we're back. And I am adding the butter to the French croissant bread pudding. Yum, sickles. Look at this. It's been sitting here absorbing up all of this vanilla creamy custard. It's got chocolate chips. Mmm, ah, incredible. Oh, yeah. This is just two tablespoons of melted butter. It's way better doing it this way than trying to break up little chips and throw them on top. I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven, whatever that is, Celsius, who really cares? And bake it for an hour. Check back with you. Au revoir. Ah, uh, scram. Or in French, ah, uh, soft gray to the blue. Man, look how this puffed up all nice. Yum city. So my cameraman is getting ready to go to work. That's right, ladies. He's available and he has a job. Right for the pickings. Let's give him a little taste of this before he goes to work. Wowie. Uh, I see some chocolate down there. Incredible. Let's put him a little cool whip on there. Oh yeah. What's better than that? Hmm. I really hope you try this. So as they say, bon appetit, merci beaucoup. Have a great day. Au revoir, Francais. Let me try it. Jimmy,